We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Harry and his friends were on their way back to the Chinese river village of Lashio when from a distance they saw smoke. It proved to be the little orphanage, a place run by a Mrs. Finch. And now it was in flames. As soon as Burma found out the children were safe in another house, she took charge. And in today's transcribed adventure... We'll learn what happens next. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. If there's one kid I feel sorry for, it's the boy or girl who forgets to send for his Terry scope. Why, when I think what that kid's missing, all the thrills and fun, it's enough to make me really feel bad. You see, this Terry scope is something mighty special. It shows you how to work a secret Chinese code and the Morse code, too and how to flash messages at night. Now, there are games on this periscope. A treasure hunt game with a special playing board and a crazy picture game that'll sure have you in six. But all those things are just extra features. They're plenty exciting, all right, but the real payoff is this. This periscope is just like the one Terry invented and put together in the show. Now, you know what it's meant to our friends and their adventures. Boy, they sure got out of some mighty hot places with itself. Well, now, naturally, anybody would be keen to have a Terry scope like that, one that lets them see around corners and way up over their heads, and that's exactly what you can have for just one dime and two Libby's labels. Yes, that's all you need. So get a label from Libby's tomato juice and one from Libby's pineapple juice. Print your full name and address on the back of one, and then mail them along with a dime to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Libby's is spelled L-I-B-B-Y-S. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if those labels you need were in your house already. So go look right after the show and see if your mother has a can of Libby's tomato juice and one of Libby's pineapple juice. Mail your labels and a dime with your full name and address to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. And now, Terry and the Pirates. <laughs> It's early evening in the almost deserted little Chinese village that sprawls between the Burma Road on one side and the muddy Yellow River on the other. We are in a rambling frame house not far from the shop. In one room are the Chinese orphan children, now asleep on boxes and makeshift parts. Everything is piled helpless shelter throughout the house as we join Burma and Pat Ryan. Look, look beautiful. I don't mind playing piano mover for you, but make up your mind where you want this crane. Can't stand here holding it all night. Now, let me see. I think we better take it into the front room. Okay. Oh, no, no, wait. I think we better carry it into the room where the children are. What do you mean, we? I'm holding 500 pounds in a big wooden box, and you say we. I know. We'll carry it into the back room while we do the cooking. I'm glad we made up our minds. Lead the way, and remember, after this, I'm not big stoop. Oh, uh, walk this way, Pat. If I could walk that way, I wouldn't be carrying this box. Now, where do you want this thing dropped? Now, let's see. Over here by the window. Oh, no. No, that'd be awkward. No, you better put it over here by the woodshed door. Okay. Well, do you think it would fit under that far corner? Lady, I know one place it won't fit, and that's on my shoulder where it's been for the past ten minutes. Now, when you decide exactly where you want it, just tell me. Well... Oh, is the big, strong, and handsome getting mad? Look, I don't mind working for my dinner. 
We'll never get these new quarters settled the way we're going, bro. Oh, we're doing pretty good, Pat. Everybody's doing something. April and Perry are fixing up the dining room, and Captain Blaze and his daughter are policing up outside, and Connie's trying to round up some extra maybe help, and here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, I guess so. It makes you happy to fuss like this okay, but let's make sure we don't have another fire. What? Just what I said. The orphanage fire was started by somebody. It wasn't an accident. How do you know that? Because I was snooping around the ruins, and I know enough about fires. Your fire inspector. Was there ever anything you weren't? Yes. I never tried to pin a medal on a shadow. And uh, how did the fire start, Mr. Detective? Very simple. Oil for the lamps of China was spilled in the kitchen. That's all. But why should anybody want to set fire to an orphanage? I'm sure I don't know, Madam Quiz. Oh, I'm sure I know. Mrs. Filch! Oh, I'm so glad you came down. Hello. Oh. Come on into your new headquarters for Chinese orphans. We've been trying to manage as best we could until you returned. But and you've been doing very well, too, with all the help you have. Now, what was this chatter about a deliberate fire? Well, that's the way I figured, Mrs. Fink. Oh, but I don't think Mr. Ryan is right. The fire was started by some troublemaker. Well, do you know who did it? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. I think I know why. Well, now, we're getting somewhere. Let's have it. Very well. I'll tell you. Then I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye? You're going away? That's the usual reason for saying goodbye, isn't it? Yes, I have special orders. I can't tell you what they are, but I have to pull out within an hour. But, well, what about the children? Well, you're here, aren't you? You're very capable. But I don't know how to handle children. I'm not a mother. Listen to her, Mr. Ryan. What's that got to do with a Burma? Besides, she'll only take charge for a short while, or... I've arranged for a woman to come up the road and take charge, but until she gets here, you will have to manage. And Burma will do very well, too, Mrs. Bench. She's got us all working tooth and nail. She took supper for the youngsters, and I wish she'd relax so I could relax, too. Oh, uh, by the way, Burma, I must warn you about the food supply. Yes? Luckily, I discovered the fire in time, so I managed to get the children out, as well as the big food storage bin. Here are the keys. All right. Now, don't let them get out of your hands. There isn't much food left, and it'll be some time before we can get more. Oh, I'll take charge of the keys, but I... I've been expecting a small steamer up the river. It's already two weeks late. You can't count on anything with a war going on. And when the steamer does arrive? It'll have supplies for the orphanage. But in these times, you can't tell about anything. So watch that food bin carefully. I will. And now, what about the danger right here? Yes, uh, about the fire. Well, I think it was started by a local native. One of three or four. How come? Quite simple. They wanted food. I caught them stealing once and I drove them off. They've been back, but they were afraid of me. Small wonder. So, you think I'm a battle act too, Mr. Ryan? Oh, no, no, I... Uh, well, I mean, yes, it's... Uh... <laughs> yes, he does, Mrs. Finn. Well, now, is that any way to talk for him? I... Oh, I, I'm not the least bit annoyed, Mr. Ryan. Out here, you, you have to be hard-boiled if you hope to live very long. Your grandma will find that out soon enough. So, both of you, remember what I said. Keep your eyes open for Han and his friend. Han? Was that one of the local boys you want to make with the food? Yes. He's as yellow as a river out there. But with a gun and a few pals, he may be dangerous. I'm almost sure he started the fire. So look sharp. I will, Mrs. Tim. And now, goodbye. Good luck to you both. Oh, thank no, you. No, no, don't go to the door with me. Just keep busy. I'll have somebody come and take charge in a few days. Meanwhile, you're in command, Burma. Your decisions are final. Again, heads up. And goodbye, Mrs. Frank. And good luck to you, too. <sighs> well, this is a spot. Look me over. General Lissimo in charge of orphans. Sergeant Ryan reporting. <laughs> and we'll help you out, General. What's the orders? Well, General Order number one is guard the food supplies. All right. Well, let's not throw a scare into the others. It, it's getting late. It's time they turned in. I think I'll sit up and guard the food. You can't sit up all night, Burma. Oh, I'm not a bit sleepy. <laughs> With Mrs. Finch gone, I, I guess I'm too excited to sleep. Just the same, you can't sit up alone. You'll fall asleep in no time. Well, I thought I could fix a bunk. Not in here where the food bin is, but well, out there in the corridor. I wake up easily. I've got a gun well, handy. That won't be much help. If you're going to do any watching, you ought to be where you can see and yet not be seen by any prowler. How am I going to do that? From that next room. Right in there. You can make yourself comfortable in here. How will I be able to see out here where the food bin is? 
Uh, we had a few locks on these doors. We could all rest easily, but nobody believes in locks and bolts. And I'll get the periscope and we can adjust it. Oh. So you can look out into this room. We'll leave a lantern lesson here near the food bin. The periscope? Oh, that's so. I forgot. Hey, does Terry still have it? Yeah, I'll get it. And then we'll leave the door open just, just an inch or so. Well, where do you get this wee business? This is my job, Pat. Just get the telescope and I'll manage. Now, look, General Burma. The old Sarge is going to sit up with you. Four eyes are better than two, and it's a long way till morning. You get the telescope and I'll fix the place where I can watch this room through it. We'll see to it that nobody gets that piece. What time is it, Pat? About 17. Hmm. A fine watcher you are, you big sleeping giant. So I can't keep my eyes open, eh? Hmm. Oh. He's not the wall. He waits. I thought I heard. I'll take a look through the telescope and I'll... Yeah. Yeah, we have company. All right. Drop those bundles and put up your hands. No, lady. No, no, don't. Do you heard me. Drop those packages and be quick about no, it. No, no, that's not lady. It's all. Look, I've been sitting up all night just to meet you. Now put down that food and be quick. Oh, no, can't stop. No one will say what Look, my unwashed friend, you set fire to that other building. You'll be shot for that and then you'll never eat again. What's have money food? Lady, give Han keys for food, please. I'll give you a lot more than that. Oh, oh. lady, hit man. It's Drop gone. those things. Drop them, I... Oh, no. Oh, lady. My hook boy. Cat! Cat, come in! Of course. Young Spain. What's going on here? What's up? Oh. Help me pick up these bundles of food, Curly Lock. Huh? Uh, sure, but what? It's been left in my eyes. You were asleep, Sam. <laughs> oh. Uh, never mind. I did very well without you. <laughs> what happened? Well, I, I looked through the periscope from the other room, and I saw him come in and open the cupboard, and he loaded his arms with boxes. Well, and... who's, who's he? Come on, come on, let's go get him. Now, just relax, Mr. Ryan. You haven't been such a rattling big success tonight, so why not let little Burma carry on? Well, you you look through the carry trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. And you were just resting your eyes, huh? Uh-huh. Well, for a man who sleeps light, you sure snore heavy. Well, never mind about me. What about the fellow who tried to steal the grub? Know who he is? Yeah, he's a fellow named Han, and there's a few pals that hang around with him. Han's sort of a pound boy. Well, what do we do about him? Well, there's no chance to find him tonight. Why don't you go and bed yourself down? We'll worry about Han and his friends tomorrow. They won't be back again tonight. Say, I'd like to have seen you shock that fellow. <laughs> I'm pretty good when I get fighting mad, Mr. Ryan. So why don't you go and get your beauty sleep? That little Burma straighten things up, huh? Yeah, unless well, I'm mistaken, we're due for more trouble with Han and his hoodlums. They're hungry, and hungry men are bad business. Good night. Yes, that blonde Burma is right about expecting more trouble. But she seems to have good, a good stock in either hand, which is a bit of a surprise, huh? Well, in just a moment, I'll tell you what's brewing for tomorrow. Well, kid, any boy or girl who listens to this show sure ought to have a cherry scope. But, says you, can any boy or girl get a cherry scope? And the answer is yes. You yourself can have a cherry scope exactly like the one they're using in the show. It lets you look around corners, see way up over your head, shows you what's going on behind you. Nobody can put anything over on you when you've got a carry scope. And boy, is it a wonder to help you see at parades and ball games and any place where there's a crowd. And say, this carry scope is the keenest looking thing. It's got a picture of Burma and Pat and other friends on it and our great big Chinese dragon, too. But look, our only an extra. It's what the carry scope does that's so exciting. Well, you can send three kinds of secret messages with it. You can play new games with it, too. Now, to get a carry scope, you need a label from Libby's Tomato Juice and one from Libby's Pineapple Juice. Print your full name and address on the back of one label, and then send them with your dime to Terry in care of Libby's Chicago, Illinois. Don't put it off, kids. Send right now for your thrilling periscope. Well, that periscope came in handy during this transcribed adventure, but it will be even more important later on. So tomorrow we'll see what happens when April Kane runs into trouble. I remember the Chinese orphans will have to be looked after, too. So tune in, sure. 
have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.